Jones. Hey, how's it going? Hey, it's going great. How are you, Jack? Very good, thank you. Are you are you joining us from bed there? Is that uh, you just chilling? This is my bed. Yes. Nice. First nice. time in history, I'm able to do an interview from the bed. Yeah, I want it now. I feel like I want to go get in my bed so I can say I was in bed with Jack. So right, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I won't go in there though. It's a total mess. Right. So how are you doing through all of this? Doing all right. Uh, Ryan and I, my brother, we've just been writing a lot of songs, you know, and we weren't supposed to be there. We were supposed to be out touring right now, but uh, right, yeah, sort of situation. That's all. That's the only thing we could do. Yeah, that's. I saw you last year here at Red Rocks for Jeep on the Rocks. That was uh, that was pretty wonderful. Yeah, um, that was the most memorable show we've ever played, probably. Yeah, <laughs> it was definitely yeah. a crazy show. <laughs> yeah, um, good times. So let's see. Uh, your album Neo Theater is about just about a year old now, right? Yeah, we just, just passed the yeah. anniversary. Um, and so are you are you quarantined with your brothers? Uh, just Ryan. Ryan is not currently here now. He's with his girlfriend in Brooklyn. But most of okay. the time I've been quarantining with Ryan. Oh, so you're in New York right now? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So you have been quarantined with him. So you're writing new music. Does that mean uh, we might get an earlier album from you because of all this COVID nonsense? It, it could mean that. There's no firm plan now. But it definitely music will be released sooner than we thought. Uh, nice. Hopefully this year. Hopefully this year. That yeah. would be amazing. Yeah. Um, I know uh, Dua Lipa just said, I mean, she just dropped an album and oh, she yeah. said because of the quarantine, she's probably just going to go ahead and crank out another one. So right. Like, Why not? You know, people are looking for entertainment. <laughs> just give it to them. Exactly. And you can't cancel music. So, right. Exactly uh, right. you know, especially do you have a studio there in your house? Yeah, this is really just the place that we write and record everything. Just the bedroom. Oh, really? Yep. Yeah. Like all the time and not just for COVID? Every, every song we've ever put out just has been recorded in our bedroom or living room, yeah. No way! Yeah, That's... it's all, it's really all you need, you know? Well, no, I know. I have my little home studio here. Right, yeah, you could be cranking I... out the hits as well. Right. Yeah. Uh, so it's been nice, just like everybody else. See, we're just like everyone else. We're just working like from else. home. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> We're all in this together. Mm. Um, so how are things in New York? I know you guys were kind of a hot spot. Um, actually, we're the <laughs> biggest hot spot. I yeah. guess that's a huge understatement on my part. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah, it's it's kind of a mess. I mean, uh, a lot of people are following the rules and then a lot of people are not, which is, I think, the reason why this is spreading so fast in New York. A lot of people don't have any sort of concern. But, uh, you know, all you got to do is just really mask up and glove up and just if you're going to go out, which I do I have to walk my dog, I just dodge people. <laughs> like wearing masks didn't the governor just uh, give an order that you have to wear masks now in public he did yes so yeah, yeah we have a few so oh good <laughs> all right so tell me about this new music yeah it's it's interesting what we do when we write we uh i mean I, we're just like everyone else we you know these days people have a very short attention span and they want something new and right. uh, we're, we're guilty of that as well and we really try to get ahead of the curve on that so Whenever we're writing, we sit down and say, does this sound like what we did last time? If so, let's change it and do something completely new. Because I love when artists release something and I expect it to be exactly like the last album. It's like, oh my God, it's new. You know, and it's that's completely different, right? Yeah, it's, uh, that's, that's a cool feeling. So uh, we've been trying to achieve just that. I like it. Uh, and who's, uh, who's inspiring you these days? Who are you listening to? Who are we listening to? Um... That is a very good question. Oh, you know, I really like uh, Benny. Benny. I, oh, I, I love to... her from is that New how you Zealand. Say her name? Yeah. Uh, yes, it's Benny. Benny. Yeah, we're playing Super Lonely. Super Lonely. Super Lonely. Yeah, yeah that's Super a great Lonely. Song. Is, and the whole album. Um, mm -hmm. The minute I heard that song, I had to go download the album so I could. Right. Yeah. What is and she's got a great voice. Yeah. She does, and she's so funky. Mm -hmm. Like yeah. I, I dig it. I dig the like even like the Harry Styles getting into like the. The, it's almost like the 70s groove, the, uh, yeah, yeah. you know very what I mean? Cool. That that dance stuff that's coming back. Um, yeah. I think it's I think it's really cool. I like the musical direction that uh, we seem to be going in now. Right, yeah. yeah, Benny is amazing. I'm so glad you said that. I'm a huge right. fan. Like if she, I mean, gosh, I don't know when tours are going to commence, um, but I'm hoping that she announces one, you know, once yeah, this is all over. I, I, think, I think you're right about that. I think that might be the new sound, you know, that that's it's like it was SoundCloud rap for a while. I think that's sort of like funky 70s, you know, her and her. Yeah. Song. That might be the sound that's taking over. I really, I really do. Because even the, the song from um, JT and SZA for the Trolls soundtrack, I mean, it's, it's all just seems like it's getting into that kind of a dance right, groove. Yeah, yeah. Um, and I think it's cool. I think it's a great change because I think things may have been getting a little stale as far as 
um, that stuff in the top 40 genre. Mm -hmm. But you guys in the alt genre, it's, it's, it's been strong. Like it's really, that genre has been very strong now for a while, which is yeah. also. Yeah, I think so too. And I think that in the last couple of years, the genre the, and, and radio, they've been kind of opening it up and, and bending it a little bit. There's everything from like, you know, rock and Nirvana on there to a little bit more pop influence and a little bit more indie influence. I think, which is really, really cool. I think that's a good direction for, you know, the industry to go and to not be defining, you know, genres. I think that's right, right, right. Just to widen the whole, uh, the whole right. spectrum yeah. um, as much as we can, because especially right now, I think a lot of people are turning to music because you can't, you can only sit in front of a TV for so long. Right. Yeah, absolutely. You know, um, <clears throat> so we need that. And, um, so uh, speaking of the touring, do you guys, do you have any inside information? Is anybody talking about when you guys might resume your tour? Uh, by the way, again, <laughs> we're talking to Jack from AJR. Mm -hmm. um, he's in New York. I'm here at my house. We're both working from home like the rest of you. <laughs> yep. Um, yeah. So um, yeah, what's the word on touring? To, yeah, we're supposed to go out uh, uh, in May and June for the part two of the Neo Theater tour. And that is going to be rescheduled now to the fall. But as of now, the second tour they wave up, everything everywhere with uh, Quinn 92 and Ash and Hobo Johnson, that's that's still oh, yeah. uh, in place. That's still in place uh, for the fall tour? Yeah, that's, yeah, it's like August, uh, uh, J July, August, so that's still in place. And then we'll be moving this uh, part two to September, October, I believe. Nothing's going to get canceled, though. Okay, good, good. Because I know, uh, you know, some of the word is like, oh, they might not open music and sports for a long time right yeah there's um, a lot of theory you know there's a lot of different things out there as of now that is what it is we're going to comply with the law though well whatever. right right <laughs> um but i just think a lot of people are so anxious to get out and get to yeah. like every single concert is going to sell out um, <laughs> probably yes everywhere because people are just itching to get out of the house and go be <laughs> yeah. uplifted by music yeah hopefully yeah yeah, hopefully <laughs> that would definitely be a good thing. Um, so how do you guys are all brothers, right? Yes, we are. How did you get started? How did uh, you how did you discover are you from a musical family? How did AJR? How did you guys discover? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah, not, not a musical family at all. Actually, the, the only connection to music we had was just our dad playing us uh, his, his vinyl collection. We were a lot younger. And I think just more so than other kids, we we loved it. And we just gravitated towards it and said that this is what we want to do. We, we, we had an ear for it, you know, and uh, that was 15 years ago. And uh, I was eight years old and we didn't have any connections in the industry or any connections whatsoever money wise So we said, you know, I guess the natural first step living in New York is let's street perform. So we got together and went out every single day for like six hours a day for like four or five summers in a row and made enough money to buy all of the equipment we needed to record music. And we just basically sat there writing songs for a lot of years. And Ryan, you know, taught himself to produce. So he learned that skill. Eventually it got to the point where we got good enough to actually start putting out songs that people cared about and, and, and wanted to listen to. Well, I mean, you guys are really talented and obviously it didn't really take you that long to take off, did it? Oh, it did. It was. Oh, it did. Okay. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Well, no, that was 15 years ago. So, the 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 first time a song got big for us was about seven years ago. So it took a good eight or nine years. Eight or nine years. But you guys started really really time. young. So yeah. 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 <laughs> right. Yeah. Um. So, after you do the next album and the next tour, um, what comes next? And what do you do in your downtime in between? Yeah, uh, I mean, we really love to work, honestly. We, we don't really take a lot of vacations, and when we do, it's really just spent working. Uh, so uh, Ryan and I, we, we write and produce everything for the, for the band, but also we have a pretty big film background. Both of us went to uh, film school uh, at Columbia, so we would oh, kind of yeah. jump into that arena. We, we do a lot of screenwriting and pilot writing, and so we'd probably want to do something over there. So you're going you're gonna to make a movie? That's that's the idea. Also, we do we write a lot for other artists, and we've been getting into uh, you know scoring for film. We've been we've been in talks. About oh, that. really? That's a big um, part of too. Yeah, yeah, that would be amazing. I yeah. think that would be. I think that's something. That's something I always thought about doing is um, um, getting into not scoring because I don't write music, but um, just building soundtracks. Just yeah. you know, um, going through a movie and figuring out which song would go where. I had a friend that used to do that when I lived in LA. Oh, really? Cool. Um, and it yeah. was such an interesting process. I would sit, um, and he would literally just watch the movie and he would figure out, you know, songs that would go with it. Some of them were thought of beforehand. Mm -hmm. Um, and then he would go through and 
uh, try to get, and then he, you know, he would have to get licensing for the songs and all of that stuff. But it was a really interesting process. Yeah, that's a fun job. Yeah. To to watch someone set yeah. music to a movie. Of course. Um, have you have you done anything yet? Have you done any scores for any movies we might know? Uh, we have some stuff. I, I I don't think I'm allowed to talk about it. We have a few things oh. in the works. That, a few songs that we've written for upcoming movies that should be coming out. I guess now that, you know, this is going on, the pushback, it'll probably push back a little bit. But uh, yeah, there'll be some stuff coming out. Sorry to be vague. Oh, no. It's, yeah. Hey, you get, I understand completely. There's certain things that are probably happening that you just, you're not allowed to talk about until course, it's yes. done. Yeah, right. no, but stuff will be out that you will know of, yeah. All right. So um, I know you probably don't have a whole lot of time. I do want to know, because uh, you guys seem to tour a lot. You seem to, to like yes. to be, you do like to be on the road. Yeah, oh, wow. yeah. It, it's something that we've realized that uh, that fans really want too. You know, it, it's, yes. it's such a funny line. Uh, it, it's such a funny uh, thing about like what 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 makes fans come out to a show because you could be an artist that has you know the biggest hit in the world or, or even two or three of them, and and fans won't come out. So we realized right. that that was us for a really long time. That we had a pretty big uh, platinum single with our song "I'm Ready," but no one was coming out to shows. Uh, right. And then we kind of worked for another few years and wrote this new body of work, The Click and Neo Theater, our albums, and people really started flooding out. And right. uh, we decided to take that opportunity to sort of flip the live show on its head. We, we decided to make a live show that no one had ever seen before. So we incorporated music and theatrics and like magic and a crazy set behind us. Oh, yeah, you saw our... Uh, yeah, our yeah, show. it was There's insane. It than... was so awesome. Thank I was you. so impressed. Like, Thanks so much. Yeah, there's a lot more than just the music. That... Yeah, if you're watching, they don't stand there and sing and play instruments. Right. Yeah. Um, there's a lot that goes on. If you ever have the chance to see AJR, and I said it a million times um, last year after the show, like you, it's a it's a must see show. Well, thank like you. it reminds me of the first time. I mean, although there's nothing, there's nothing like you're not similar, but it reminds me of the first time I saw a Flaming Lips show, where oh, I was cool. just I was just flabbergasted by yeah, how different what they did was. You know what I mean? Yeah. So that's really um, creatively fulfilling for us. So we love being out. Um, and what, so what's your craziest road story? We'll end it on, just tell me something. <laughs> there's got to be, I've been on the road with rock bands before. So I know there's crazy things that happen. Uh, there's a lot. Um, I try to say a different one in every, every interview. Uh, oh, yeah. In the last tour, we were driving from Salt Lake City to, uh, oh, no, no, sorry. We were driving to Salt Lake City from Denver. And Salt Lake City was going to be, it was basically the show we were looking forward to most on the tour because Salt Lake has an just unbelievable audience and it was our biggest show. Right. And we're riding and at probably three o'clock in the morning, I just feel the, uh, uh, I'm in the bus, we're in the bus sleeping on our bunks and we just feel a thud, like an earthquake is starting. And uh -oh. we, I wake up and I'm just like, I must be dreaming. And I went back to sleep <laughs> and at 5 a.m. I woke up and I realized that the entire trailer on the back of the bus had unhinged itself and slammed into the back of the bus on the highway. On top of that, we were stuck in the middle of a blizzard and we couldn't even see two feet in front of us. And we were still oh about God. an hour from Salt Lake City. And it was looking like we would have to cancel the entire show. And there was probably 4,000 people coming to the show. Oh, and no. we basically, we were sitting in this blizzard that had no sign of stopping. I think our tour manager got, had gotten on the phone with the promoters. He was texting them saying, we're gonna have to cancel. And right before he pressed send, like, like it, it was unreal. The skies literally opened up, the clouds parted and the sun just peeked through and all of a sudden it stopped snowing and we got there within minutes of being able to put on the show, like literally oh. minutes. It was, it was wow. quite a day, yeah. And then you put on the show and let me just guess, the show was epic. <laughs> Legendary. <laughs> Well, hey, Jack, thank you so much for us. But is there anything that you wanted to talk about? Anything that um, you want to make sure everybody's aware of? No, we, we covered everything. New music soon, hopefully. Listen to Bang. That's our current single. And uh, our tour yeah, Bang will be happening good. at some point. Yes, yeah. Tours will be happening at some point. And yes, I've even gotten like a couple comments coming up. I'm seeing people are like, AJR has the most incredible concert. They oh, really do. Um, you. you really do. It's um, it's very different, and it's so entertaining, and it's so um, well rounded. It's not just like I said. It's not just people standing on stage playing music. You guys right. really connect with your audience, and uh, you. and yeah. your fans are hardcore, which is fantastic. And that helps. Yeah. Yeah. So um, so that's it. We uh, they're working on new music. We might have some soon. Um, that's something that might be good coming out of the coronavirus um, pandemic. Um, you know, new music from our favorite artists is always a good thing. And uh, we'll keep an eye out for uh, the tour in the fall. You do have a Denver date, right? 
Oh yeah, yeah. We, we that that's with the Everything Everywhere tour. We're playing the Pepsi Center, I believe. The, the, yes. Right? yes. Yes. Yeah. yeah. I know that place. Yes, I yeah. I like it a lot. So I look forward to seeing you guys at the Pepsi Center again. Jack from AJR joining us on Instagram Live. You know what? We really appreciate it. We try to bring our listeners new content of course. Um, because of everything that's going on yep. and uh, try to find other ways to entertain people and connect with our audience. And I yep. really appreciate no uh, you coming on with me today. Of course. Thanks. Thanks for talking. All right. Thanks. Bye, Jack. Have a good one. Bye. Uh, thanks. You too. Thanks, everybody, for watching. Um, we will post this. And uh, you can watch it back anytime that you want. We had Jack from AJR. What a great guy. Um, he said they will be at the, here at the Pepsi Center in the fall. I mean, obviously, uh, as long as the regulations have been lifted and we're allowed to, as long as it's safe. Um, and we might get a new album quicker than we thought. So thank you guys for watching. I hope everybody is safe and healthy. Um, I miss doing my daily videos back in the studio, but uh, we're all staying safe. And working from home. And uh, from me and everybody at Mix 100, we love you. Thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. Have a good day. Okay? Bye.